We are back with a Fox News alert. FBI Director Christopher Wray is now warning Americans to stay vigilant for possible terror threats here at home. So, Ainsley, Ray fears that Hamas copycat attacks could happen on U.S. soil. Meanwhile, national security concerns rise at our southern border. That's because our Border Patrol agents have announced that four Iranians here illegally have been apprehended in Texas just in the last month. Alexandria Hoff is live at the White House with more. Alex. Hey guys, I'm here in the Washington Bureau right now. I actually, I want to comment because you guys were talking to Trey about uh, the idea of Hamas being an ideology and you don't have to train with Hamas terrorists to think like them. That's the message coming out from the FBI is that we should not discount the possibility that Hamas or other terrorist organizations will take advantage of the current conflict by calling on supporters to carry out an attack here in the United States. The Bureau's biggest concern is a solo assailant. We've got to be on the lookout, especially for lone actors who may take inspiration from recent events to commit violence of their own. And this, of course, has sparked increased concern over the flow of migrants at our southern border. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, four Iranians have been apprehended since the beginning of this month. That is four. They're all considered to be special interest aliens. That's a term used to describe individuals coming from countries identified by the U.S. government as having conditions that promote or protect terrorism. Individuals may also have some suspicious travel patterns. And look at this. In the first 14 days of this fiscal year, over 30 Iranians were apprehended at the southern border, nearly 60 Syrians, 35 Pakistanis, more than 100 Russians, 285 Afghans, and nearly 2,000 Chinese migrants. Over the past two years, U.S. Border Patrol has encountered almost 73,000 special interest aliens, many of them from Middle Eastern countries. And just last week, CBP agents apprehended two Lebanese nationals in Eagle Pass, Texas. They were also considered to be special interest aliens. Lebanon, of course, home to Hezbollah. Guys, wow. that's all scary. Yeah, and uh, there are these there are these two lawmakers, two congressmen in Washington. They're trying to pass that legislation so that uh, we don't allow anyone from from Gaza, any of the mm. Palestinian authorities, it, uh, to enter into our country. Where does that stand? Do you know the Gaza Act? Yeah, you know, that's interesting. We were reading about that a little bit when I was at the White House yesterday. Um, it's certainly getting some pushback from people because the idea is you have these special interest aliens, as we were just talking about. Not all of them um, are people who adhere to the same beliefs as their government. Many are seeking refugee, re, you know, refuge in the United States, wanting to distance themselves. So it's going to get a lot of pushback, uh, but it's making waves because people in the United States are scared. Yeah, uh, Alex, thanks so much. Appreciate yeah. it. And when Ron DeSantis is leading the charge on that uh, among the candidates, and one of his points is, look, uh, they might not all be Hamas, but they're anti-Semitic. We don't know who they are. This is not the point. This is not the time now to take any chances. I think it's a little bit different with Afghanistan. We were there for 20 years, and you have all these, uh, you have all these, allies, uh, yeah. all the allies, but you all these uh, examples of them showing loyalty in the past, whether they were interpreters, uh, whether they actually fought with us, the type of positions they had with the government that was ousted because we left. But that's a lot different than now. I'm, I'm, with, I'm in the Ron DeSantis camp. All right.